black Coloradans face many inequities in our state, but perhaps none are as jarring as the inequities when it comes to health care. So we broke down the statistics and learned that just 0.4% of doctors here in the state of Colorado are black. The U.S. Census shows our state's black population is only 4.6%. That still represents more than 200,000 people who have to hunt for a doctor who looks like them. Here is 9 News anchor Alexandra Lewis. Only 4% of doctors in the U.S. are black, so unless you're watching an episode of Grey's Anatomy, scenes like this are rare. Two black surgeons at the helm of surgery, brain surgery at that. In Colorado, from specialties down to basic care, finding black faces in white coats is difficult, sometimes impossible. I get a lot of calls about a black dermatologist. There's none in Colorado, not one. There's maybe about 100 or so black doctors throughout the whole state of Colorado. 100 is less than a fraction of the 26,430 active licensed physicians in the state, according to the Colorado Division of Professions and Occupations. Dr. Terry Richardson is one of the longest practicing black physicians in Colorado. And I will be retiring soon and my patients are saying, hey, Who's a black doctor that I'm going to go to next? That pull for black patients wanting to be seen by black doctors is not trivial. It's not just that you share the, the skin tone, but that you have that life perspective, that lived experience of being a black person in America, because it is a different experience. Beyond cultural similarities, patient trust is a huge component to get the black community to the doctor to begin with and reduce racial gaps in medical outcomes. Especially women of color, black women, um, specifically with the higher rates of morbidity and mortality attached to women's services, whether it's um, obstetrics care, delivering your baby. OBGYN Dr. Dana Roper has been delivering babies in Denver for 21 years and faces skeptical patients in her practice every day. Some of the early GYN surgical experiments that were done on black women, on enslaved women, um, without anesthesia. For generations, that inhumane history is reflected in the amount of blacks who seek medical care and those who go to medical school. I was class of 96 and being the only black in my class. Dr. Alfred Nash has been seeing patients in the Denver metro area for 22 years and hasn't seen representation grow much in that time. If you don't have people in medical school and you don't have people in residency programs, you're not going to have people in the community. It's very difficult to bring people in um, who don't train here. Dr. Roper says Colorado medical schools need to be more deliberate in seeking out black students to build the pipeline of black doctors. I think it's happening a little bit, but probably not to the degree it needs to. I think we need to really just be very intentional about looking for physicians of color, care providers of color, and bringing them into the system. And to bridge a gap this wide, it will take reaching out to medical schools outside the state, including historically black colleges, and enticing practicing black physicians elsewhere to call Colorado home. I think most of the health systems are maybe not reaching beyond the state of Colorado. I can't say that enough. If we're 4% of the Colorado population, and then you think about the number of doctors here, you've got to go outside of Colorado and look a little harder. The onus is on us that are here. Colorado's newest neurosurgeon recognizes scenes like this will always be exceptional, but the goal is for it to be more common. Think about the fact that both my parents are first generation college graduates, and in one generation, you know, they've put me in a position to be a neurosurgeon today. Will it change today? Will it change tomorrow? Not necessarily, but I think we can take steps today that impact the future so that our representation increases. I'm Dr. Terry Richardson. These are the faces. Hi, my name is Dr. Dana Roper. Who are taking care of our community. I am Dr. Alfred Aradash. Advocating for representation. My name is Jason McGowan. I'm a neurosurgeon. But they cannot do it alone. Our thanks to Alex for that. And according to the CDC, black Americans are at the greater risk for diabetes, asthma, stroke, and high blood pressure. Studies show that it is greater trust between doctors and patients when they're the same race, which leads to better compliance with health care recommendations. The Colorado Black Health Collaborative puts together a list annually of black doctors in our state. There's a link on our website on 9news.com. Black History Month may be over. Our commitment, though, to highlighting voices of change in Colorado is not. If you have a story that you believe has an impact on our communities of color, you can email us at voicesofchange at 9news.com.